Hello and welcome to all of you Aquarians. Welcome for your monthly horoscope for August of 2020. This is a general one. Um, take what resonates with you and you're the captain of your ship. So if it doesn't resonate, you don't have to take this information. So keep that in mind. It's very general here, but it's going to give you the energies for the sign of Aquarius. So no retrogrades here of the Mercury or the Venus or the Mars or of the personal planet. Um, um, and no eclipses anymore for this month. And, but the, the emphasis is really on Venus and on Mars. Venus and Mars are going to be a bit under attack with Pluto and uh, that intensifies the whole month when it comes to what we can control in life and what we want and we work hard for getting that but also what we need to let go of, what we cannot control. And this is going to be like the key sentence for every sign. And um, because Pluto is all about transformation and Pluto is about, yes, going for the things that you can go for and perseverance for sure, but it's certainly not about the things that are not destined for you and to keep on going after that or trying to control that so um but let's have a look first of all it's it's quite an important month for you because you're gonna have your full moon uh in uh, at the very beginning of the month on the third of the month on 11 degrees of aquarius you're gonna have your full moon that means the moon in your sign and that's always a nice time because you know what you want during that time and you know what the other person wants as well because you have the sun there in the opposite house of relationships. So there's something there that comes to fruition that has to do with a relationship or if you are single that has to do at least with what you want in a relationship. So that's very beautiful. And then on the new moon, um, for those who are single, there could be a new relationship starting. First of all, the two first weeks, there's the sun and Mercury in your seventh house. So you're going to attract some quite beautiful, uh, clever, uh, sh sunshiny people in your life with um, the seventh house uh, being activated there. And you're also going to have on the 19th, the new moon on 26 degrees of um, Leo. So some of you are really going to meet someone new. Or there could be a change when you are in a relationship. There's something new there. There's something that ends. And yes, of course, there could be an ending of a relationship. But again, that, that's only for a few of you people. So again, when, that, when you say, Vida, what the hell are you talking about? I'm having uh, more pluses and minuses in my relationships. Then you don't need to listen to this. But yes, if it's going really, really bad, that could be this end. And... Um, especially because you realize what you need and what you want in the beginning of the very first week of the month. Um, but for most of you, it's some sort of a new start there. There's some sort of a new enjoyable um, upgrade that you're getting when you're in a relationship, you know, that you say, yeah, that, that we're going for a child, for instance, or we're going to move and, and, and start a new life or, or whatnot. All these things are very much favored. Uh, this month for you. Now, Mars in Aries. Uh, that is sextiling your energy, by the way. So you're, although Mars is, and Venus are going to make stressful aspect with Pluto, you have that sextile there with your energy with the Mars. So um, whatever it is that is stressing you a bit out on a mental level, because it's Mars in the third house, it's it's that's busy. You know, it could be just simply that you're doing a lot of emails, a lot of telephone calls and whatnot. And that is squaring up with energy in your 12th house. So Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto in the 12th house. So that can mean that relaxing is a bit more difficult for you. That can mean that things on the unconscious are working out and you're not really aware of that. So blind spots, be aware of that. Be aware of how you undermine yourself and especially mentally. That is a big message for the Aquarians. But again, as I said, it, it is sextiling your energy, so it's not that hard of a problem that you cannot deal with. And then Venus is with Gemini, in Gemini the first week, up until the 5th of August. It's going to conjunct with the North Node in your 5th house. So again, for those of you who are single, this could be again someone who's pretty important for you and someone new 
that you are meeting um, or something lovable that, that you are experiencing. It is um, or something new when it comes to matters of the heart or that you love to do, that you love to create. Uh, maybe um, uh, reading or buying some books and, and you're really enjoying that and you're, or you're going uh, into a cafe or talking about that with some friends, etc, etc. So something that relates the mind but also what you enjoy. And then Venus goes uh, as from the 6th of uh, the month uh, approximately till the rest of the month in Cancer which is your 6th house. So there is a focus on your day-to-day -day routines and on your health as well and on your work, but in a more gentle way uh, with Venus there. So it could mean that you have made some changes and now the work is going a bit better, a bit more enjoyable than, in, than a couple of months ago, but it opposes Pluto. So again, if there is something when it comes to your work, it's a good time to apply for a new job. It's a good time for sure with Venus there, which is use your charms. But again, just control what you can control, the things that you cannot control, uh, just leave it. Leave it, don't think about it, detach yourself like the true Aquarian does. Because you can, for instance, write a letter and put all your effort into that letter and, and your resume and whatnot and, and the, the interview that you're having for a new job, but then it's up to them to decide whether they want you or not. And you need to let go of that because otherwise it's going to give you stress and it's going to give negative energy with the Venus opposed Pluto. Remember, this is about the desires. And when the desires are too controlling, you're, you're pushing it away. Could also mean a fatal attraction there at work. Could mean that as well with the Venus opposite Pluto. Um, but anyway, that's um, how I see this. And there's a bit more of a focus on word of other people, money of other people, um, more on of a deep psychological um, transformational energy with like the 22nd and onwards. But you will feel that more as well in September. I'll talk about that more in September. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best. Have a very good month, dear Aquarian. See you next month. Bye-bye.